Today, I traded everyone on the Cavs aside from Donovan Mitchell. It's time a championship was brought back to the city of Cleveland, so today we will be making drastic changes to the roster in order to make this happen. We will be building the best team possible alongside Donovan Mitchell in order for him to win his first ring and make the Cleveland Cavaliers a dynasty once again. I really do like the trade pieces we have on this team. I can also play Donovan at the one or the two, but we are going to be able to trade Evan Mobley, Jarrett Allen, Darius Garland, Levert, Max Truce, who's been such a good pickup for them in all honesty. Azuka Kuru, which I don't think he panned out as they thought he would. This is a very deep roster for us to trade. We're definitely going to go a win now. Like, if I can win this first season, that would be fantastic. There are two players I'm going to try to get off rip to pair with Donovan Mitchell. We're going to see if we can get De'Aaron Fox. I don't know what we're going to have to give up to get him. Probably going to have to throw in another star player. Maybe... Maybe not. Let's try a role player first. Let's try Karis LeVert, who's actually only a two-star rated player. What is Craig Porter Jr. rated? One and a half? Really? All right, maybe our team's not as deep as I thought it was in terms of the trades that we're able to do. But I'm trying to save up most of our pieces for the next player that I am going to try to get. I might just have to say screw it and package Jarrett Allen here. And then see if I can get a mediocre, or at least just a role player, Keon Ellis. Oh, sorry, I forgot Max Truce was here. There we go. All right, we got De'Aaron, which we did have to give up a little more than I would have liked to get him. I would like to get Scotty Barnes on the team. I don't think I'm going to be able to get him with the players that we have. We'll try our best, and I'll just take some players down here to get on the team. And then I need to find a way to bring back picks to our team. Okay, so now we do have the three players that I did want. So we have a big three of Donovan, De'Aaron, and Scotty Barnes, which means I'm pretty much just trading for whatever's available. We do have a bench player in Keon Ellis. This trade actually gives us a bench point guard as well. And a bench small forward in Kenyon Martin Jr. Our bench is pretty much filled out now. So we need to look for some starting bigs. I have zero starting bigs. Uh, let's package Sam and Craig Porter Jr. They don't have to be the best bigs in the NBA. It's like I would take Zach Collins if that's the best available big I see. Getting Ben Simmons would not be the worst thing in the world. We could get Xavier Tillman and Luke Cornett here. Drummond, in my opinion, is still a starting caliber center at 30, but I take him a lot. So let's take Zach Collins, who's actually only 25 I can run him at the four or the five depending on where we go now the issue is getting another starting caliber big Alongside of him. Okay, I could just get Chris Paul and package Chris Paul Into someone else Najee Marshall is actually a power forward for whatever Reason could take Oliver or Max Prosper do not know how to say that guy's name. I might just be taking Trey Lyles from the Kings here. Vince Williams Jr. would be such a good pickup, but I don't really need him. Let's take... Bro, should I just give Kenny Lofton Jr. a chance? Screw it. Why not? We're giving him a chance at the starting power forward position this year. That means I still do need to trade, what, Dean Wade and Damian Jones? I think that's it. Maybe Ty Drome's on their team as well. Let's get rid of him. And then we... I think we've successfully traded everybody uh, outside of Donovan Mitchell. So right now we have a a team of De'Aaron, De'Anthony Melton, Keon Ellis, Donovan Mitchell, Scotty Barnes, Kenyon Martin Jr. Uh, I'm going to move Kenan, Kenny Lofton to the power forward position. Looks like I'm only going to be running an eight-man rotation, which is fine for our first season of the rebuild. I was looking through our stats for our players in our first year, and it's really not bad aside from what our role players are shooting from the field. Aside from that, the team played a lot better than I expected. It does suck how we don't have a lot of our future first, but uh, I can just trade a lot of our depth away. I shouldn't even say depth. These are players that aren't in the rotation. I can package players that are in the rotation to hopefully bring in another star or all-star caliber player. Darren Fox says make the all-NBA second team for us. No Donovan Mitchell anywhere. Darren also makes the all-defensive second team, so that was a great pickup for us as we're actually the first seed in our conference playing the Bulls in the first round here. Scotty Barnes with 15, 9, 5, 1, and 1 did get 40 minutes almost. Donovan with 26, 5, 4, and 2. De'Aaron with 25, 6, 7, 2, half a block. Zach Collins with 12, 8, 3 assists, a block. See what I'm saying? Like, that's not bad, but he shot 41% from the field and 28% from 3. Kenny Lofton, 14, 7, almost 2 steals. That's great. 39% from the field, 25% from 3. 
and it's just the same throughout the rest of the bench at least the players that got minutes i did go with an eight man rotation this year as we almost just got upset in the first round wow we just took two seven game series players have got to be exhausted by the time they are playing this bucks team i do want to look at the playoff statistics here scotty barnes i really need you to do more whenever we only really have three star players on the team donovan mitchell with 28 6 4 and 2 dan with 23 6 8 and a steal there you go zach collins your shooting percentages are a lot better kenny lofton same with you 40 percent is a game changer for you Rose kind of going crazy like he has a spot on the team in the future as we lose game one and game two we about to get swept okay at least we're not getting swept low key it might be time for us to go in come on guys let's take the first half as we only win the first quarter by two points the third quarter we win okay we should be fine unless we just blow bro i'm going in we got 50 seconds we're only up by three because of what we just allowed in the fourth darren also only has 15 Kenny Lofton with 28. The GOAT. The GOAT of the franchise is here. The next LeBron. He is guarding. Oh my gosh, that's an awful shot. Box out Giannis. Give it to De'Aaron. Cook him. Cook him. Kenny Lofton, come over here, you GOAT. Okay, are they not going to intentionally foul? Yoink. Dunk on Giannis. Hey. All right. Kenny Lofton Jr. is literally the LeBron James of the team. Scotty Barnes, I, why are you getting outplayed by Kenny Lofton? I'm going to need him to clamp up Giannis somehow. To Giannis, uh, De'Aaron's actually averaging 25-6 and like 8 this series, shooting 53% from the field. We definitely have our franchise guard. Zach Collins is a potential starting big for us. If he would just fix those shooting percentages, I would like him a lot. No way that's going down. Big man coming with the board. Give it to De'Aaron. Oh my gosh. Kenny Lofton. Hey. That pass was net. Okay, this is my new favorite NBA player. Screw it, we're starting him for the rest of the reboot. You have my word on it. Oh, no way Giannis just hit a pump fake three. Yeah, give me that brick. There's no way they foul. Looks like we are going to come out on top just barely this game. Brooke Lopez, you are not staying with De'Aaron. We're gone. That's three dunks for De'Aaron. Up to 21 on the ball game. We're just going to sim to the end here. Because there's only like a second left. As we do win by seven game. Or, sorry, seven points. I'm pretty sure it's a seven game series now once again, so we will simulate with Simcast again in hopes of us. Okay, we're literally getting waxed already. Sick. We lost our first quarter by four. Still anybody's game here as we lose the second by 10, so we're really going to have to. Oh my gosh. We're here. We're here, De'Aaron. Eastern Conference Finals MVP. They blew like a 3 0, 3 1. Um. Um, anyway, I don't know what just happened. Who's on the Thunder squad here? Shea, Josh Giddy, Dort, Jalen Chet, Aaron Wiggins, Isaiah Joe. We should be fine, maybe, as we go up 2-0. And, oh my gosh, we're up 3-1. And, oh my gosh, please close out the series. There we go. We win a championship, our first... Okay, screw it. This man just came out of nowhere and took finals MVP, averaging 18-12-7, 1-1, with some mid-shooting splits. I was not expecting that. The future of the team is this man right here. Playoff stats, 15-7-3 over a steal. When he fixed the shooting splits, it's over. We did get a little worse record-wise, but I also have so many future first-round picks, so we're going to have a much better team than I could have ever expected this next season. We're still going to be a 50-win team. Also, as you can see, the scoring is really low, so the games got reduced in times, which I hate when this happens because it's so hard to judge what a player's stats would be in the regular NBA as De'Aaron makes the all-NBA third team for us. Scotty Barnes makes the all-defensive second team as well. And we are, once again, still the first seed in our conference. See, Scotty Barnes with 11-5-4, 1-1. Donovan Mitchell with 17-3-3-1. De'Aaron with 15-3-5 over a steal. Kenny Lofton with 10-4-2, a steal. Isaiah uh, Hartenstein picked him up at the 5. 5-7-1-1, five, one, one, a, a little over half a block. No idea what these stats would be. In the regular NBA, D'Anthony Mount with 5, 2, and 2. Kenyon Martin Jr. with 5. Jalen Smith with 6. And Keon Ellis with 4. A lot of the roster is still looking the same aside from our starting center position and our pinch center position. As we do get eliminated in the second round to the Magic, who have Jalen Suggs, Cole Anthony, France, Paolo, Duran, Wendell Carter Jr., Jonathan Isaac, Maurice Wagner, Anthony Black. Definitely a deep roster. I wasn't expecting us to go back-to-back. 
But like I said, we are so ready for next season as the Magic actually are NBA champions and Luka still takes finals MVP. Kenny Lofton Jr. is coming off the bench for us now. Bro just refuses to get his shooting splits up. I'm talking this man is shooting 30 something percent from the field and 20 something percent from three. We have a starting rookie at the power forward position starting for us as we go on a three game losing streak towards the end of the season. We almost did hit that. 60 win mark two wins away which is not bad by any means necessary dan fox once again on the all nba third team and on the all defensive second team and we are the first seed in the conference for the third season in a row square i just want the season stats there they are scotty barnes with 10 5 4 a little over half a steal a little over half a block donovan with 15 3 3 and a steal DeAndre Ayton, we now have him at the starting center position. Average 10-7 for us, no defense. De'Aaron with 15-3-6 over a steal. Carter Bryant, our new starting power forward with 8-4-2-1-1. One, and one. Kenny Lofton with 6-3 off the bench. Count Ellis, 3-2-1 and a steal. Jalen Smith with 6-3. D'Anthony Mountain with 5-2-2 two, two and a steal. And then I didn't give Kenyon Martin any minutes because of his shooting splits as well. And we easily make it to the conference finals where we sweep... The Raptors, the second seeded Kings actually made it pretty far with an interesting roster. So many big men. We're playing the Thunder who have Shea, Josh Giddy, Dort, Jalen, Chet. It's just their original starting five with Sadiq Bey off the bench now and Isaiah Hartenstein. Just a completely different bench as the series is tied at 1-1. We go down 2-1 and we go down 3-1. Yeah, it looks like we're about to get absolutely waxed in the finals by the OKC Thunder here, which I mean it is what it is okay we just won that game by a point box score donovan dropped 17 deandre ayton was 17 and 12. kenny lofton actually with 12 points off the bench for us with see if he would just shoot like that every game he'd be starting very easily for us we will go ahead and simulate this next game with simcast as well because we do need to jump in as we win the first half pretty easily here if we just don't blow this quarter all right once again a seven game series oh my gosh I did not mean to do that. I'm um, stupid. Well, we won one championship on the video, ironically, in our first season. Our final team was De'Aaron, Donovan, and Scotty Barnes. Had them throughout the entire video. Then we had Carter Bryant and DeAndre Ayton and off the bench. We had DeAnthony Melton, Keon Ellis, Kenny Lofton, and Jalen Smith. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you all with the next video.